Hello there, this is Susanna. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my videos, for subscribing and for all your comments and suggestions. Now, if you have watched the first part of this video, you already have a good idea on what and how we're going to work together in this tapping session. Actually, if you did, your unconscious mind might have started to process that event already in a different way, isn't it? And I know that you'll agree with me that it's all right not to know how to forgive. It's actually nobody shows us how to do it. It's all right if you do not know how to do it. It's all right if you cannot do it. And even if you don't want to do it, forgiveness is not a quality of being that you need to develop. It's not about being nice or kind. It's all about bringing the light of the truth to that matter. And you might have already noticed that there is some sensitive area in yourself. There are particular triggers, particular actions that you have learned to consider unacceptable and unforgivable. Now, you don't get pissed off by everything, do you? As if you do, maybe you should book an appointment with me right away. But this means that it all started somewhere. You don't have to learn forgiveness. You have to unlearn and undo the shock, the trauma, and the emotional charges that wired you. So please read that phrase that you wrote down last time, or just say it out loud. Name the person or the situation. Name what happened, what they did to you. Name how that hurt you. And feel all that in your body. And again, please assume full responsibility for your own state of well-being. If you consider that that event could be too much for you to deal with now, too traumatic, don't do the video, just consult a professional. Now, let's start with the karate chop. Even though I've been hurt and I feel unable to forgive this person for now, you can say their name. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have hard time forgiving this person for what they did to me. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though a part of me doesn't want to forgive them, and I kind of feel bad about that, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. And even though I cannot get myself to forgive and I hate that please feel free to choose the words that make you feel good now. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Now let's move into the points. I'm still unable to forgive them. You can say their name. I cannot do it. I've been hurt too much. A part of me refuses to forgive. And I know I should be forgiving. Kind and nice people are forgiving. Maybe I don't want to forgive them. And even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how to do that. I want them to know how much I suffered. I know how it feels, it's all right. Better taking it out now. I want them to hurt as much as I do. It's all right to say that. It's better out than in. You're entitled to say it. Let's say it again. I want them to hurt as much as I do. Take a deep breath, please. Let's say that again. I want them to hurt as much as I do. Just take another deep breath and release it. Release all that from your body and from your mind. It is not fair. People should not be treated this way. 
it's hard to forgive because I'm hurt. This person really hurt me. It is unfair that they did this to me. Good. Say it out loud. It's unfair that this happened. Nobody should do things like this to anybody. You're right. Take a deep breath, please. Nobody should go through this. I feel really hurt. Take a deep breath. And please notice what that hurt feels in your body. I feel really hurt. Observe the body. Observe what that feels in your body. We're doing this together. You're safe. We're releasing all that now. I feel really hurt. Breathe through it. Breathe slowly and smoothly. And notice where that hurt is in your body. I feel really hurt. Observe what the body tells you, where it stored this trauma. We're releasing that now. I feel really hurt. Feel how all that melts away, how it's vanishing from your body. As you're breathing calmly and as you're tapping, notice how this feels. I feel really hurt. Allow it to melt away. Breathe through it and allow this to vanish. See how it evolves. On the other hand, I know I should forgive them. But I'm unable to do it. And I feel worse because of that. How come I'm not able to forgive? When is it the first time in my life that I felt this way? When was I treated in a similar way? When is it the first time that I felt that way? Just allow your unconscious mind to do this job for you. It has all the answers. When is it the first time that I felt this way? When is it the first time that I felt this way? Take a deep breath. And allow these questions to sink in, to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And allow your unconscious mind to bring forth all these answers in a safe and secure way. When is it the first time that I felt this way? Notice how your body reacts when we're asking this question and just keep breathing. When is it the first time that somebody treated me this way? Take another deep breath, please. Just allow yourself to connect to that greater part of you, that part of you who has all the answers. When is it the first time that somebody treated me this way? When I was treated in an unfair manner. And I didn't know how to react to that. The first time. Just keep tapping, keep breathing, keep observing the body. The very first time. The first time when I learn to be hurt. Just allow your unconscious mind to do this work for you. Just going deeper and deeper and deeper still into all of these moments, all of these memories. The first time that I felt vulnerable. The first time I've learned to be hurt and to be a victim. Just take a deep breath. And allow your unconscious mind to do this work for you safely and in all security. That moment is long gone. What's left is the memory of it, which is recorded in your neurology. We can change that. I choose to release all that in all security. You're doing it right now. Feel it. Allow your unconscious mind to do that for you. I choose to release that memory and every other memory associated to this memory in all security. I choose to release them all as I no longer need to feel this way. I've learned and I'm choosing not to be a victim anymore. Allow that to happen. Here and now I release it. 
and I send to that part of me that's hurt all of the love, all of that kindness, all of the wisdom. In order to be totally free from that event, take a deep breath. Maybe it's not about me at all. Maybe it's just the way things are. People are hurting people out of their own limitations, out of their own fears, out of their own trauma. Maybe it has nothing to do with me. Maybe it has nothing to do with me. And again, nothing to do with me. Just breathe and allow these words to sink in and change your old beliefs, the old perceptions, the old mindset right now. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. Yes, just allow these words to go deeper and deeper and allow your unconscious mind to do this work for you. Maybe the only lesson that I need to learn from this is that I can choose to be free. Maybe the only lesson that I need to learn from this is how to break through a pattern or a loop. Maybe this is just a loop that has been created in my mind, in my body, my nervous system. And I'm just programmed or wired that way. But outside this loop, there is everything else that I could be. Let's say that again. Outside this loop is everything else that I could be. Just feel that. Allow that to be awakened in your body. Allow these words to be recorded in your unconscious mind. And I remember. And I remember how it felt before this loop has been created. I remember very well. This state is recorded in my unconscious mind. This state when I was feeling free and joyful and curious about life and playful. Outside this loop is the unseen part of me, the part of me who has never been hurt. The part of me who has never been broken. The part of me who has never been touched by this event or by this series of events. My other than conscious mind knows how to access it. I just allow this greater aspect of me to flood into this loop getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Just feel it through your body. Breathe and allow this to happen. Just allow this to be done for you. So that every part of me, every nerve cell, every cell of my body, every molecule of my body is reprogrammed, reprocessed and reorganized. Everything is changing and shifting now in my mind and body to match this greater aspect of me right here and right now. Oh, this feels great, isn't it? This is really powerful. I have absolutely nothing to add to that. Just take a deep breath and just sit in this silence for a few moments. Just pause or close completely the video and allow this greater you to break through this pattern and allow it to infuse this, this loop with all of the learnings and all of the teachings and all of the kindness and all of the wisdom that it needs right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.